Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, I'm going to show you a word. If you can pronounce that word correctly, the iPhone is yours. It's really simple. A word. Okay? Are you ready? First of all, what's your name? Sarai. All right, what's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian. All right. Do the word. You get one shot to pronounce it. You can play two. You can play two. Okay? One chance. I'm going to show you the word. One chance. Okay? So here is the word. Don't say it yet. Here's how it works. Here's the rules. I'm going to show you one word. Okay, one word. You have one chance to say its pronunciation. If oh, you can pronounce it, if you, I believe in you. I, this is your iPhone. This is, I believe in you. I believe. Okay, cool. If you can pronounce this word correctly, you win the iPhone. No questions asked. Okay. If you both pronounce it correctly, you both win iPhones. Don't worry about it. Okay. Cool. I'm going to show you the word once. Okay. Get ready. Here's the word. Life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Smell, go for it. Say it right there. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, humble, and uh, humbled. And I, um, I went to a place that we can play in the pool and super fun. Ah, uh, and a uh, meal bless you and bye. Okay, that was yours. Now, Haya, it's your turn. Um, welcome Hold back it. to my YouTube channel. I'm so very from humble and thank you for humble. watching my video and thank you for, and I went to talk to Dua and um Okay, okay, okay. Just say um, say say this was the intro. This was an intro. Bye. Today is the day of Ashura, and I'll talk to you briefly about what that is. And a lot of you guys are fasting today. Today is Saturday, the day of Ashura. And it's also the day that I'm going to be filming my Uyghur social experiment. Pronounce this word when an iPad or something. You know, like that's going to be a social experiment. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to go filming that today with my student. But subhanAllah. It's supposed to be filmed outside with real people, but I don't know if you could tell, it's kind of like cloudy over here. Let me see if I could just like give you guys a, a hint. Oh, it's all cloudy. It's all cloudy, right? So, and it just, it's gonna rain later on today too. So I'm just thinking like, yo, how do I fix that? So I'm looking for an indoor mall, shopping mall, so I can go and record inside over there. But it's with my student, which I'm super excited about. Um, it's my student who's gonna be holding the camera which I'm excited to see because, you know, that's giving them different types of experiences, stuff like that. But anyways, getting back to this point over here. To you guys, to any of you, if you guys get it all correct, you all get iPhones, don't worry, you have enough, okay? Here's the task, it's a challenge, okay? I'm gonna show you a word. If you could pronounce that word, the iPhone is yours. How about that, fair? Today is the day of Ashura. And by the way, those were my announcements. Today is the day of Ashura, all right? And, uh, you know, the messenger saw him arrive to Medina. And he saw that the Jewish people were celebrating and, and you know, they were, they were fasting as well too. And he asked someone, why, why are they doing this? What, what's, so, what, what's happening over here? And they're celebrating, you found out, they're celebrating because I have like a hair for my cat. My cat's been dropping too many hairs all over. I gotta like get a cleaner. SubhanAllah. Why are they celebrating? They said, today is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freed the Bani Israel from the grips of Pharaoh. They crossed the Red Sea, right? They crossed it. Uh, I think the Jews call this Passover, right? They're passing over. And the Messenger of Allah heard this, heard this. And upon hearing this said, that we have more rights of, over Musa al-Islam than they do. So we're going to fast as well. But to make sure that there's a difference between us and them, we're either going to fast the day before Ashura and the day of Ashura, or the day of Ashura and the day after Ashura, just so that they can see some type of separation. Okay? The better, and I, before I talk about the benefits of Ashura, just think about the wisdom behind this right now. Okay? You know, Islam teaches us that there's, there's a different and unique way for a Muslim to do something. There's a different and unique way for a Muslim to do something. For example, everyone is wearing pants, right? You guys call it trousers. Everyone's wearing trousers. But the way a Muslim is going to wear it is different. He's going to fold up his sleeves from the bottom from his ankles, wear it a little higher. Everyone's rocking beards now. It's fashionable. But you know how you could tell a Muslim beard versus a non-Muslim beard? The mustache is trimmed. 
The messenger saw some, uh, saw some understood that there's going to be certain things that are going to be commonalities between people, but the Muslims got to do something that makes you stand out just a little bit more than anyone else. So the day of Ashura is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you for your past year of sins. Meaning, if you have uh, if you're fasting on this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you for the sins that you've committed in the past year, for a whole year worth of sins. And it's funny, we're just coming off the day of Arafah. And Arafah promises to not only do that, but also the next year as well too. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us opportunity after opportunity. One lesson that we learn from this is that we have to give ourselves opportunity after opportunity to continue to forgive ourselves. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us. But my question to you and to myself is, when will you and I learn to forgive ourselves? When Musa al-Islam in, in Surah Al-Qasas, in, in verse 15 and 16, he was talking about the, the crime that he had committed by mistake, the error he made by mistake of murdering someone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in the next verse, Talks about how Musa asks for Allah's forgiveness. And within that same, within, the, <laughs> within that same verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. So Musa asked for forgiveness, and within that same verse of forgiveness, Allah forgave him. But the question is: are you and I gonna be able to forgive ourselves? Think about the mistakes that you're holding on to right now. Think about the grudges that you're holding against yourself right now. Think about that poison that's building inside of you right now just because you're still holding it against you. Allah forgave you. The angels have wiped your books about that sin. They haven't even have it written anymore, yet you're still considering yourself to be a sinner. You're still holding yourself accountable for that sin. You've sought forgiveness, you've made tawbah, you've you know turned a new page, a new chapter in your life, yet you're still crying about that sin. Now look, it's good, right? It's good to feel remorse about your sin. It's good to feel like, you know, feel bad about your sin. But there comes a point where you cross over that point and now the shaitan is manipulating you about that sin. Do you understand me? There's a point where it's no longer that you're asking for forgiveness. Now you're self-loathing. Now you're despairing in Allah's mercy. Allah has already forgiven you. Allah has already forgiven us. You've sought His tawbah, you sought His repentance, you sincerely did that. Allah has forgiven you. He's removed the, that sin from your books, from the angels who's been writing it down, yet you're still holding on to that emotional baggage. You and I need to leave that emotional, sinful baggage. You and I cannot carry it around with us wherever we go. You and I cannot carry it around with us in the back of our minds all the time. Because that's a story that you and I are telling ourselves over and over again, which never allows us to truly turn the new page, a new leaf, a new chapter, and become better people. Why? Because you're still holding on to that sin. You and I have to realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven us. Now it's time for you and I to forgive ourselves. And that comes from an immense amount of self-learning, self-love, and learning to undo all those negative thoughts that we have about ourselves. The shaitan is going to use that against us to manipulate you and I to weaken us, weaken our iman, weaken our, 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 our feelings that Allah has forgiven us or not. Allah has forgiven us. And these days are you know, proof that Allah has forgiven us. So please stop holding on to grudges against yourself. It's bad enough that the shaitan is our open enemy. There's no need for you to be your own open enemy. Is that making sense? Learn to forgive yourself. And notice I'm saying the word learn. It's a gradual process. Excuse me, how do I do it? It's a process. And it starts from not... Let me ask you a question. When a baby, a child is trying to learn to walk, and he keeps falling. Do you hold it against them? Do you? Each time they fall, you're like, oh man, this, this kid is caught catching L's left, right, and center, bro. Oh, that kid caught another L. Is that what you're saying? That that kid who's learning to walk and every time they fall, they stumble, they trip, they, they're trying to grab things to walk, but they still falter? Are you saying, yo, yo, this kid's a loser, son. This kid is never going to learn to walk. Are you holding it against them? Or are you thinking that this is a part of the process? 
Look how that child forgives himself for falling. SubhanAllah. Look at that. Damn, SQ, mashallah, you killing the game. Dropping gems all day, huh? I'm getting ready for this uh, social experiment, guys. I'm super excited to get my child. I had to speak to their mom, get them on board. May Allah bless them and guide them. You know, make dua that this is a successful video, guys. Sincerely. Uh, not because I'm trying to dye my hair uh, beard red with Hina. Not because of that. Just because like, it's really going to raise awareness about the Uyghur situation, guys. Sincerely, please. Back to the topic. You have to learn to forgive yourself. The same way that toddler learning from his mistakes, learning from their mistakes, they forgive themselves. That's why they're able to stand up and try again. The reason you haven't tried again is because you haven't learned to forgive yourself. So forgive yourself. Know that this is a part of the learning process. And it's okay to mess up. Be okay with yourself to mess up. Fix it. Correct the error. Try not to mess up again. Learn from your mistakes, forgive yourself, move on from those mistakes. But you and I are toddlers in this game of the dunya. You guys, and you and I are toddlers. We're going to slip up. You promised Allah you weren't going to watch porn. Well, God damn it, you're going to watch porn again by mistake. I'm sorry it happened. Allah, I promised you I was going to lower my gaze, but Allah, I messed up again. You fell, but get back up and try again. Just like that toddler, don't give up on yourselves. And people around you shouldn't give up on you either. The same way that no one gave up on that child from learning to walk, there's going to be people in your life who probably give up on you. And if you're someone who can impact someone and you're seeing someone falter over and over again, maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's someone who you're working with and they have a drug addiction, but they keep falling, keep failing. They promise they'll stop, but they keep on doing it. Understand that they have a problem, but they're not giving up on themselves. Why are you giving up on them, huh? Stop giving up on people. Stop it. Understand that this is part of the process for a person to learn. Encourage them. They fall just like that child. Hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Help them stand back up. Be there for each other. Because the shaitan not only wants you to fall, he helps you fall and he keeps you down. Encourage each other, help each other, support each other. No matter how many times you fall, get back up. Get back up. It's okay to fall. It's okay to fail. Without all these L's that you're catching, you couldn't spell life. Damn, SQ, mashallah. Mashallah. I heard that from a Lil Wayne song. I don't listen to music, but I heard it from a Lil Wayne song. Just, just, I want to give credit where it's due. All right? The point is this, guys. If you fall, get back up. If people around you falling, help them get back up. Because the only person that doesn't want them to be successful and wants to keep them falling is the shaitan. And you and I are not no devils. We're good people. Help people up. Help them, encourage them, raise them. Raise people's status. Help them change their stories. Raise their status in their own eyes. They're not sinners. They made mistakes. Allah will forgive. Now it's time for you and I to learn to forgive ourselves. I pray that you benefited from this video and I pray that you have a blessed and beautiful Ashura. Make dua for each other. Make dua for me. Make dua for the success of this project. I pray that Allah SWT blesses you all. I pray that you benefited from this video as well. If you did benefit from this video, uh, leave a thumbs up. You know, like these are the videos that I was always encouraged not to make, right? I was encouraged that, you know, when there's a popular thing in society that happens, then make these videos. Why? Because people don't want to watch these videos. I'm of the opinion that those who want to watch these videos will watch these videos. And I'm not concerned with how many people watch these videos. All that matters is that you watch these videos. I appreciate you so much. Check out some of my other videos right over here. One's best reviewer. One is my most recent videos. They're both pretty dope. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Uyghur social experiment. Tomorrow's video is going to be the social experiment uh, released around the normal time that I release them. And uh, until next time, I'm out.